This is Intro to Lighting Design, created by The Drama Goat on TeachersPayTeachers.com. All rights reserved. First, we'll review the stage positions grid found in a proscenium theater. Remember that this grid is from the actor's perspective. So if you're standing center stage, in front of you will be downstage center, and right behind you will be upstage center. To your right is right center. To your left is left center. And then in the corners are upstage left behind you on the left side, upstage right behind you on the right side, downstage left in front of you on the left side, and downstage right in front of you on the right side. What you'll need to know in this presentation about stage lighting is the purpose of lighting what effects lighting will create, how lighting affects storytelling, colors, intensity, and transitions. What do you believe to be the primary purpose of lighting design? The first primary purpose of lighting design is to illuminate the actors and set. At its core, lighting in the theater is there to help you see the actors and the rest of the design elements. Duh. This is the most basic of lighting designs. Blackouts and lights up to full. The audience must be able to see the actors to fully understand the story being portrayed, down to facial expressions. The bigger the theater space, the more important it is to light actors well and brightly. When the audience can also see the set, then we put the actors in context as well. Purpose two, to set the time of day and environment. Lighting is the most important element to change the time of day on stage. For example, one can use blues at night, warm colors at day, and vary the total amount of light. You can quickly and simply change the time of day on stage. Light paints the picture that the playwright imagined. One cannot overlook the powerful ability of lighting, especially if your set is in an indoor space. Purpose three is to set the mood and light the active set. In a more abstract manner, we can also help set the mood as it changes over the play. If things get more intimate, we can bring the lights in closer to the actors and darken the rest of the stage. Brightening the set makes the room literally feel larger. The act of set refers to the area where the current action of the play is taking place. If we look at the pictures below, we can sort of guess what kind of mood the scene is taking place in. If things got brighter or more hopeful, we can maybe have a bit of a brighter lighting. Lighting is used to focus the audience's attention. So by lighting different areas of the stage, the lighting designer guides the audience's eye, focusing their attention. They work with the director's blocking to do so. For example, in the photo, the actor there is standing center stage and all the lights are also on her. So we know that um, that's the person we're supposed to look at as the audience. Lighting can also be used to influence the pace, also known as the speed of a piece of theater. Quick lighting changes or snaps can heighten the energy of a performance, while slow fades can calm the energy. Lighting is also used to communicate themes or symbols in a story. So for example, the color red might be used to represent love or green could represent danger or evil. If you take a look at the first photo, they kind of have an intricate design on the floor using lighting. Think for just a minute about what themes or symbols could be being communicated through the use of that type of lighting. Lighting can also support the style of a production. Naturalistic style emulates what the scene would look like in real life. While non-naturalistic performances often use more theatrical lighting effects that don't actually exist in our day-to-day. -day. 
if you look at the second picture, I want you to consider, is this scene in naturalistic style or more theatrical style? When designing lighting, there are several additional aspects to consider, including special effects, texture, and transitions. Lighting designers use lighting to create tons of special effects when required by the production. For example, a quick group of flashes can emulate lightning, while slowly fading the light and changing from a bright orange to a cool blue tone could create the effect of a sunset. In this clip, we'll see how lighting is used to create special effects. Finally, texture and transitions. Light can create a variety of textures on stage. For example, the use of a gobo, which is pictured the circular thing, can create the effect of light through trees, which can provide the stage with a fascinating texture as pictured here. It's like putting a shaped cover over a flashlight to change the shape of the light as it comes out of the lighting instrument. Transitions are movement between different lighting stage. This might occur through a crossfade, which we'll see in this video example, where one lighting state fades into the next. Let's take a look. As you can see, we start as a blackout. And then we crossfade the light up to full. The opposite of a fade would be a snap, where one lighting state moves immediately to the next. Thank you for watching Intro to Lighting Design by the Drama Goat.